Let's have a look at these two sentences. Wir können leider nicht kommen, weil es regnet. We unfortunately can't come because it's raining. And the second sentence, wir können leider wegen des Wetters nicht kommen. These sentences have a very similar meaning, but the difference is in these two words, weil in the first sentence and wegen in the second sentence. The difference between them is quite difficult to perceive for English speakers because we don't often think about the difference between the words because and because of. For us, the word because is in both of them and we sort of lose sight of the fact that because is what's called a conjunction, which means it joins two different clauses to form a sentence. And because of, actually, as one whole phrase, is a preposition. That is, it comes before a noun and certainly cannot be followed by a verb. Let's expand upon a couple of those things that I just said. In the first sentence, we have one clause. A clause is made up of simply a subject, that is, a noun, and then a verb which the subject is in control of. And then the second clause, which is governed by weil, has the same thing. It has a subject, which is a pronoun as, and then the verb to finish off with. So the takeaway is that because is always followed with a verb, and that's what weil also does in German. But in the second sentence, wegen des Wetters, we'll just bracket that off, is actually a prepositional phrase by itself. It's a preposition, and then in this case, has a noun after it to form what we call a prepositional phrase. So when you see because of, you're going to see a noun straight after it. Notice there's no comma because there's no second clause. There's only one clause here. One final question, I guess, has to do with the S's on the end of these two words, des and vetos. And this is really an extension point. But if you are interested, the reason that those S's exist is because the word veta, and by extension, the word des, the word for the in front of it, are in the genitive case because vegan is a preposition that uh, follows with the genitive. Now, more and more commonly, it's actually being followed by the dative in German, but that's just to explain that. You can explore that further by yourself if you like.